Hey everybody, I'm gonna be making two recipes today. One is our breakfast, but the second one, I'm taking a recipe I recently made, but I'm going to trick it out to see if I can do something with it. And it's an experiment, so you guys, if you wanna see what that is, come back and we'll share. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Love You Knit on Keto. I'm Wendy, the cameraman is Harry, and the little chihuahua is Sally. Little Sally girl, little Sally snickerdoodle, yes indeed. And you guys, I love fall and winter weather because I get to wear my blue bog shoes, my so Kofi shoes, my boots. I get to wear the closed shoe boot stuff that I have. In the summertime, it's so hot here in the hundreds and teens, right, to 120, that flip-flops and sandals, and they're just not as exciting to me as my closed-toed fluvogs that I have to wear. So I've got my pair of Darbies on today again. I love them. They're so cute. Yes, they are. Yeah, you had those on the other day. Yes, I did. We are going, uh, we've got a lot of places to go, but I also want to make some breakfast for us, but I've got a trick up my sleeve to do something. I'm not gonna explain it, but you guys have to come back for it. But for breakfast, I'll share that, and then the second recipe when we get back. We've gotta go to Costco and pick up some stuff. We've gotta go to our P.O. box because there's some things there for us. We've gotta do our general Boat. running around, and we are dropping off our ballots today. Yes, we are. Go vote. Your vote does count. Big vote time. your heart, vote your conscience, but please get out and vote. Yes, indeed, it's your constitutional right. And I believe for the United States of America, it's our obligation to go and vote. We can't be upset with what is going on or with what changes you want if you don't vote to make those changes. So you guys, go vote. Anyway. How did we do yesterday with all of the uh, fish au gratin casserole? Now, what you did not see is we were so, we had two portions, first of all, that casserole gone, done. Oh, yeah. We inhaled it. Was, it oh it was so comforting. It was so good. Harry was I'm just amazed. Like, he just kept eating, going, I can't amaze. It's so amazing. It was so delicious. And it made the sardines even milder. But oh, yeah. It was just the potato. I couldn't, yeah, they, I do, they weren't even there. Yeah. Really. It was that potato the way comfort they all mixed. food. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And um, one of you uh, told me you spoke German. I sent you all the information. It's all in German. I sent you the name of the YouTube channel, what they called this particular one. It's in English and in German for you. If you'd go there and look at it and tell me what that recipe is called or a fish au gratin casserole works well. Because basically potatoes, milk, cheese is, is an au gratin anyway. Um, so just adding the fish, I felt, you know, you could do uh, tuna, you could do sardines. They did sardines and it was funny because they even did the seasoned sardines in that recipe. The only thing I didn't do was the potatoes, basically. So anyway, you guys, how did we do? We had a keto chow for dinner just so that we wouldn't be hungry late at night. So we had a little bit more carbs. It was a carby day for us. And Kind of Anytime Harry has vegetables, he tends to go up. Yep. So Doesn't matter I am not worried about it. That was a comfort food. Those uh, radish were a, a, a potato um, replacement, and they were yummy. And they were pretty. They were pretty, too. Anyway, you guys, I went up a quarter of a pound. I'm not worried about it. Oh. You're going to go up and down every day anyway. Harry went up six-tenths of a pound. Harry had a horrible night's sleep yesterday and a headache and he took Tylenol. Everything that you eat or drink the day before, sometimes two days prior, can have a direct effect on your weight. Yes, it can. Headache. That's a pain. Your body is inflamed. Tylenol. That's an over-the-counter medicine and I've read 
pardon me, that when you take Tylenol, was it Tylenol specific? I'm trying to remember. It was a white paper that it shows that your ketones, uh, you don't um, continue with the ketones for a while. It, I can't remember the name of the paper. I know you guys are going to ask me. Maybe you guys saw the same thing. I can't remember which doctor talked about it, um, but someone did. And that was a while back. I would say one to two years ago. So I'm not sure where it was, but uh, that makes sense to me. And that's why I always say over-the-counter medications can have a direct effect on your weight because they can help, they can stop your ketogenic process while the medicine's going through your system. But don't quote me on that because I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a medical practitioner. I am not licensed at all anymore. I was an EMT, I was in the nursing field, but that was way back in the 80s. That was another life, you guys, practically, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys, Harry and I had the same thing yesterday. So I just, I put it on my phone. Harry kept grabbing his phone. Ooh, wait a minute, did she reply? What the name of the fish thing is? I think she did. Oh, well, anyway, I'll look it up later. Um, something else I want to bring up. I took a picture of it. I took a picture of the comment because I want to read it verbatim. You go to it. Is the newest comments at the top or at the bottom? Top. Mm, on my phone, I think they're the exact opposite. Nope. Yes, mine are at the bottom. So, Arthur wrote, Soleus, it's pronounced S-O hyphen L-E-E, -E, Le -E, the E is uh, long, us. It is a small muscle under the large gastro, gastric nemus, the knee, or nemus. The knee must be flexed or bent to take the gastronemus out of the picture as the soleus originates on the bones, the tibia, the tibia and fibula, just below the knee, but shares an insertion of the Achilles heel's tendon with the gastric. So standing, the knee bent is extended and you don't fully isolate the soleus. I do physical therapy. Hope that helps. Here is his comment. You can read it because I'm, I'm, screen up the pronunciations. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Got it. Thank you, Arthur. I truly appreciate it. Some of you that are a physical therapist or masseuses have both said the same thing. Soleus is how you pronounce it. So I appreciate the information. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, on to Carb Manager. I put the recipe, I pinned it to the top, you guys, and it's pinned to the top what? The blood. Oh, Harry's doing this and I'm mimicking. Because you're I'm... talking about doing the exercise. Okay. Remember what you did? Okay. Did it... Harry, that's right. So, we got up and we did our, someone asked me to please test doing my glucose and ketones first thing in the morning, then stopping, going and doing the soleus exercise then come back and test it again to see if there is a difference. So Harry's going to input the first, the soleus exercise, and then the second reading here. It's finger pricking time. It's finger pricking. What are you doing, Harry? That's all I'm doing this morning. Finger pricking time. Harry, there's Harry's finger pricking time. There it is. Is that you guys? Harry right there. Over there. That's his dance today, you guys. Oh, That's all you get. That's all we get. He is in the Eeyore this morning. He is, he is. You guys, I did not do my exercise. The soleus, I have not done it. I am taking my blood first. Somebody said, why don't you take your blood first when you first get up, show us, then go do the exercises, then wait 15 minutes, and then take it again and see if it does anything different. It could, it couldn't, but I thought I would do that. That was a great idea. 0 0.5. I mean, we're eating sardines every day to see if it helps, right? Might as well do this too. 5.5. Oh, you had a 0 0.5. Mm -hmm. Wow, Harry. 
Hello, Wendy. I'm impressed. Oh, I got a 3.5. Oh, see you guys, look at that. I walked right in and took it because Harry wants coffee. Ah, oh, okay. That's right, I want my freaking coffee right now. So. So I get up earlier, so I can have all my stuff. Wow. 118 and a 0.5. Yeah. Now, Wendy will do her leg things, and we'll see if that helps us both. Yeah, I'll see if it helps you, Harry. I'll take one for the team. Yeah. I'll go do that right now. Okay, come back when we do yeah. take two on the blood workup to see if the soleus, the E, soleus, eus, yes, indeed, soleus, where oh. Harry wants coffee. You counting or what? Fourteen. Sixteen. I don't know how many to do. Just sit and do them. That's all he said. He didn't give me an amount. I'll sit back and see if that makes a difference. <laughs> you guys, <clears throat> it's been about a half an hour since I did my first finger picking. Then I did my soleus. I did have two sips of black coffee, and that's it. I didn't finish it. Go look at it, Harry. Harry doesn't believe me. I don't me. believe you. Seriously. Oh, yeah, you did it. Well, you maybe had, like, maybe four. Four sips? Four or five. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I had four or five sips. Tell some addicts. Four or five sips. That's right. Four or five sips. Now, okay, so let's see if this hack worked. Can't see my camera, Harry. Harry's face is in the way. Yeah. Woo! Gee. Wow. What was it this morning? Oh, five. Wow. 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 That just went. Well, I just proved that all the heck. Well, that proved that. Let's see what my glucose says tomorrow. about that. You'll try to get tomorrow. So yes, I will. You need three days in a row to save. You do. Something actually works. Are you going to do it with me? Yeah, I am now. We're going to solo no, this together. No, look, I'm still at 125. It's not, it's not. But, it's, you know what? I may be in GKI because I had one such, point. Yeah, that was What high. did I have? One point. 1.7, wasn't it? Something like that. And I am at 4.3. So I am in a moderate level of GKI ketosis just by doing the soleus, waiting 30 minutes. Giving my body a chance to wake up. That's one of the problems because I literally come out right from the bathroom doing my morning ablutions. Okay, you guys come back in the next segment. And yes, there was a difference. There really was. My glucose was still yeah, you high, really, you... but it went lower, but my ketones went up they way went higher. Sky high. And I got into GKI by doing the soleus waiting 20 minutes and then retesting. Now someone said, isn't that a hack? Do you need to be doing that for your body? Well, here's the deal. If you have glycogen stored in a muscle and you can release it and use it for energy first thing in the morning, right? So that it's utilized and gone, then you're gonna start burning your fat for fuel, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. So I think it's a great hack. Actually, yeah. I really do, especially if you're having issues with your glucose, your blood sugars in the morning. Yes, indeed. So that's all I'm saying. Now, on to Carb Manager. I put the recipe into Carb Manager for my fish au gratin last night with the full intention of only eating one serving while Harry and I ate the whole thing. We cut that casserole in half. So we did get our full can our full ration of sardines out of the deal. But it is so filling, so delicious. And one thing I have found throughout this oh, whole I could eight more days that. is that I am full and satisfied and I don't want to eat. I could care less about eating after I have my sardines with whatever it is I made. And so I'm having an issue with trying to keep my calories up because I want to keep my body at a certain level. Um, wise I don't want to drop down and I know calories don't count and don't matter but they kind of sort of do when you were um, screwed up your metabolism like I did 
So I was so low. I was 500 to 800 calories for so long. I was depriving my body of a lot of things. So I want to share yesterday we ended up having a total of 1,494 calories. We had 30 total carbs. Protein was 81, fat was 115. Now if you go over here, our net carbs were 18. That's because of the fiber in the uh, vegetables, which would be the onions and the radish, and also in the keto chow. So we had our, our MCT oil, our perfect keto uh, MCT, our collagen, we had the two servings of the keto fish al gratin. And for dinner, we had a keto chow. Yes, we did. So you guys, I think it was just, we're just, I don't really think Harry's was really six tenths because of the food. I think it was because of his headache, Tylenol, and lack of sleep the day before. And I tend to go up and down anyway. I'm not worried about it at all because that casserole was fabulous. Oh gosh, that was good. It was absolutely, you could, could serve ate, that. I could have ate more of if that. If you have family members that, that like fish, or even if they haven't tried fish, that is an excellent, excellent one to do. And when you use radish as potatoes, it takes the bite and that peppery taste totally out of it. If you don't like raw radish, try them cooked. They really, really, really get a sweet, like a potato is sweet, a sweet taste. There is no pepper, no bite, no, no pungent in the mouth at all when they are cooked. They're absolutely delicious. So you guys need to try them. Anyway, let's get my breakfast started because we've got to go out and do what we need to do. Then I need to come back and do that recipe again what I'm thinking about doing, and I'll explain why I'm doing it when I make it. Hey everyone, I forgot to share something with everybody. Do you guys want to meet Harry, Sally, and I? Yeah, you do? We are going to be in Austin, Texas for the 2023 KetoCon, which is one of the largest low carb events there is. You guys, there are going to be a ton of vendors. All the doctors, keto doctors are going to be there. There's going to be some great speakers. And of course, Harry and I are going to be there and we'd love to meet you. You guys, right now they have extended their special price. You can get an ad, a general admission ticket for $100 and that's for April 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. So you guys, it's going to be going on Special sale price right now through December 1st. As of December 1st, it's going up to $150. And then from there, it's going to go up to $300 at the door. So you guys, if you've been thinking about it and you want to meet us, you want to go and get some great information, meet all the big hitters out there, the doctors and all of that, learn some more information, go to all the uh, video uh, YouTubers, that are gonna be here and um, I wanna check out all the booths and stuff and see what they're got going, right? All the new foods and all of the new equipment and all the new doodads and stuff. That's what I wanna do, but I also wanna meet you guys too. So you guys don't wait, get your ticket. It's $100, that's a dinner for you and a, and a friend. So go get your tickets today. Go down in the description below, click on our link and get your ticket today. And we'll see you guys April 21st in Austin, Texas. Yes, indeed. Well, well we went to drop off our ballots and we forgot that it's Sunday. So the place we want to walk into and drop off will be open tomorrow. Yes, they have little boxes out in the middle of nah. the, and Harry won't take them there. So nope. he wants to go to the other place, which is fine. We went to our P.O. box and it's Sunday. So they have that part locked off from the main mailbox part. And we had slips, but we can't pick them up until tomorrow, which is fine. But then we went to Costco and we're going to insert they that. They were open. Here, and they were open. Woo! You guys, we're at Costco, and now I'm buying for Arvita. I'm taking MCT oil. Next week, we're going down to Tucson, so Arvita needs some things. I'm taking a container of comb with me because it's still $18.99. It's still $5 off. MCT oil. 
the steel 1999 and this is really good and you guys one of the uh, cookbooks that Gladys sent to me, I was reading through it and I found a wonderful fish dish that I'm gonna use for sardines. They use MCT oil to cook with in there a lot because it's just, it's coconut oil, but it doesn't have the coconut flavor that Harry does not like. So I bought one for Arvita and a calm for Arvita as well. I'm getting some spam for Arvita, just in case we're caught somewhere and we can't get gas or we break down or something. I have canned stable shelf stuff for Arvita. We're going to Tucson in Arvita, which is our RV to get the awning finally next week, but we don't know how long we're gonna be there. So I'm just stocking up on more sardines. I know I like them. They are shelf stable and I'm just getting two cases. Just in case, I don't want to take from my pantry that I have at home to put in our Vita. What's These a case? These are $10.99 uh, for six. For six. Right. So they're what a dollar eighty-three and some change like that, each. A piece, yeah. Yes. So, so you guys. The case is uh, how many's in a case? Thirty-two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, thirty. Six okay, times. Arvita needs mustard. Six ninety nine mustard. There's a shortage, so I'm leaving what I have in my pantry and buying some for Arvita. I'm picking up a couple of jars of mayonnaise as well. Eight seventy nine. Mayonnaise, mustard, and sardines is a delicious, nutritious meal. And if you don't know how long you're going to be somewhere or if you have a blowout like we did last time and we were stuck, it's nice to have this because we had nothing. And we had to call uh, Instacart and everything else to get our food. So you guys, I'm stocking up our Vita now. So we'll see you guys in the next segment. We are in line, I know, Starbucks. I'm dying of thirst from shopping at Costco. And we ordered two Venti iced Americanos with some light heavy cream. And I've got my Better Stevia with me, my Better Stevia English toffee that we're gonna put in it as soon as we get it, you guys, because I'm dying of thirst. And I also want some coffee. I want some caffeine, yes indeed. So that's what we're having. It's not momentum, but it's gonna have to do. Anyway, went to Costco. We are stocking our Vita. We are gonna go to Tucson next week. Supposedly, you're in and out of there, right? Well, we've played that game before with them, so we are going the day before. We have to because our appointment's at 9 a.m. and we're not gonna drive 120 miles in the dark to get there nope, ain't doing in it. time. So we're going the day before, then that day, and then we're probably gonna leave the following day to come home. So we're driving in the daylight. Harry has kind of uh, night blindness now. As you get older, you don't wanna drive at night anyway if you don't have to. No, that's big so, thing. We have under the bed space where we can put um, stable goods, and that's what we are doing. So I bought some Spam. We can take one of these Spams. We can take a couple of the sardines now that we're eating sardines once a day. I want a case out there. Put a case out there. Take one of my mayonnaises. Take some mustard with us. Also take an MCT oil that can stay out there. It's shelf stable. It's no big deal to be out there. A calm that is shelf stable. Harry got some more cough drops. He gets very dry and so does mom. And these were on sale. They were $14.99 minus $5. When these came back in stock right after the zombie apocalypse lockdown virus, they were $21 for a while. And then they disappeared for six months off the shelf. So every time we go through one, we have one in reserve because mom goes through them all the time. She has acid reflux and GERD, horrible, horrible. And so these help her. So we've got some of those for her. And then I'm gonna take two of my Remkins out because I love the egg dish. It would be super easy, super simple to make in Arvita, even though these are glass. I'm gonna pad them in the little cozies that come that I have and just stack them in the cozy that way and that should protect them. And then I bought Harry the little, little throw because we took our throw, our throw blankets 
that are uh, the dog centric ones that Charlie buys for Sally every year, they're out in our Vita. So he went to get a throw and I come in there and he's got my leopard, um, what are they called where you put the arms in the front? He's sitting Snuggler. there. Snuggler. Snuggle. He's sitting with my le leopard snuggle on, man. So check it out right here. Harry. Um, yes, I do. What first, do you got on? Show Don't be a cameraman. Tell me what cute little robe you're wearing there. What is that? Snuggler thing. You've got my snuggles on. <laughs> well, I gotta have something. Are you cold? You put everything else outside. Oh, okay. You look pretty yes, cute. Can you is. turn down Wendy? She's talking too loud on the TV, please. Come on, I'm trying to watch this. You're in my way. Are you having your coffee now? Yes. Is this your coffee break? I stole your cup, too. I figure if I'm going to steal your snuggle, I'm going to steal your cup. Okay, Harry. I think we need to buy you a new blanket. I think you need to learn how to point the camera. No. Ooh, Harry, you are a little snot box today. Oh man! It's early. You guys, you, you don't talk to Harry in the morning. In the morning. Oh, you're bugging me in the morning. You're not supposed to be talking to me in the morning. Get that smile. What? Smile to the camera. So you can see his joyous, happy face in the morning. So he steals my snuggler, and he steals my coffee pot. You know, he steals my coffee cup because I clean my coffee cup up, get it all ready, get the coffee place over. Last night he had decaf, so his coffee cup's dirty in the sink. So he steals my coffee cup, number one. He steals my spot, because that's my side of the couch, right? <laughs> and he steals my snuggler, you guys. So look, Harry, look what I bought for you today. I know, I saw Just it. for you. I was there. Woo! I am so excited that you get your very own throw. She got upset because I had her freaking thing on. You've had it on more than once. Oh, you guys. It's crazy. It's crazy. Anyway, we were stocking our Vita up slowly because we've been robbing Peter to pay Paul kind of a thing. And then we forget we left it out there and then we can't find it in here and vice versa. So slowly we're adding things to our Vita as we go along. Anyway, you guys, I've got to put all this away. Harry's got to take stuff out to Arvita, including, don't forget my peacock apron. That's going with me. Mm -hmm. I need an apron in there that's beautiful. That's worthy of Arvita, and that peacock one is awesome. Speaking of peacocks, did you ever order something on Amazon or from anywhere, and it's big, and it's beautiful, and it's bold? I ordered these gorgeous sterling silver peacock earrings with hand-painted enamel, right, cloisonne. Can you see them? No, wait a minute, can you see them? No, wait a minute, can you see them? Yeah, there they are. I can't even focus on they them, They are the small. dinky, winkiest little Wendy earrings. Wendy almost stayed long enough to see them, huh? Oh, I'm sorry, here. Get your hands out of the way. Well, you can't see them. I can't see with, your, with, with, with those big hands in the way. Your hands, are, the your hands are big when they get close. It's sitting on a crescent moon. But if you blink, you're going to miss them. You can only see them when the sun hits them just right and you see a glint of silver. I was disappointed. I could have sent them back. Yes, I could have. But then I thought, nah, I'm going to keep them. I put them on today and I'm like, wait a minute. You can't even tell there's green, the peacock green to go with the pretty colors in my shirt. That's like, man, that's very disappointing very uh, although i have bought things like a pin where i think it's you know little and i get it and it's this big right and i've had to send it back yeah it's so. a, sort of a chest shield it's <laughs> we've had the opposite happen too anyway you guys harry's going to take our stuff out to rb then i'm going to get everything because you guys i'll tell you what i'm going to do in the next segment <laughs> so you guys have to come back and see okay you guys I am making my keto carnivore buttery English muffins, but I'm going to do a technique at the end that I'm going to share. It's an experiment. The one thing I am adding to this that I did not add with my original recipe, and I'm going to post the original recipe. If you want allulose in it to give it a little brown, because we're making English muffins and they're usually white. They're usually not dark brown. I'm putting in one teaspoon of allulose. One teaspoon. Glad I read this. Color course coordination. So just this much. A teaspoon of it. 
If you're in another country where you can't get allulose, that's perfectly fine. But I just wanted to see what I can get with one teaspoon of allulose, you guys. I love these really have the exact same texture as English muffins to me. Yeah. The kind that my Kroger fries makes. So one teaspoon's going into the bowl with the water. I've got one and one half cups water. We put in everything that is not fat in to make stiff egg whites. Now, we're gonna put in this bowl that goes in afterwards, the fats. So, we are putting in 12 grams of powdered butter into this recipe. This recipe is butter and, and butter centric. It's a brand new one. There we go. So two tablespoons basically, but I measure the grams. There we go. Uh, egg yolk, the same. 12 grams of egg yolk powder. If you don't have egg yolk powder, use real egg yolks at the very, very end. Put them in just to blend. It's about two tablespoons or 12 grams. Those are the fats that we're going to be using, so I'm putting those aside. Now, I am going to put in a half of a teaspoon of salt at the end because the butter I am using has no salt. I'm going to put a teaspoon into the water, half a teaspoon into the water in the beginnings for a total of one whole teaspoon because I want that salt flavor. My butter is unsweetened. Yes, it is. Now, into the water, you want to add three tablespoons of gelatin. You can use Knox gelatin. I happen to have 100% pure beef gelatin, which is grass fed. But any gelatin that you read on the back and it just has the gelatin ingredients with no added sugars or anything like that, sprinkle it into the water. Just let it um, bloom a little bit. This gives you the chewy English muff muff muffin texture. It really does. One thing I don't care for on mine is it doesn't, the mix, the head doesn't come up and down like it does on my Ace Cool mixer. Ace Cool, you guys, still on sale, don't forget. Now, I want to add in My 120 grams of egg white protein powder. And I want 120 total grams. I'm reversing the amount by putting my zeroing it out on the scale and then pulling out 120 grams. That works really well. Here we go. I'm gonna put this on low and I'm gonna bring it to stiff peaks. Then we're gonna add in the dry buttered ingredients and last we're going to add in two tablespoons of frozen bacon grease ground or shredded and two tablespoons of sweet unsalted butter you can use salted or regular butter so here we go we're going to turn this on and let it come to stiff peaks <sighs>
once you have stiff peaks, come over here and put your powdered goods in. Just the powdered. Keep it on long. Two tablespoons of bacon grease, frozen. Frozen. We put these in. start falling but don't worry it's no big deal because of the English muffins and the way we are going to make them now I have my silicone mash deep come look at this deep on a silicone mat the deep ones okay I want to go to the bottom and the sides because this, this is starting to butter, it's starting to melt, which is fine. Don't worry about that. We're going to fill these up three quarters of the way full or almost full and I'll show you. So get a spoon. I thought, how can I keep them from peak rising, right, dome rising in a pan? I think, I'm not sure if this will work and I'll share with everybody as soon as I get this in. Harry didn't understand what I was talking about until I showed him and he went, oh my gosh, that just might work. Didn't you, Harry? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm making bread, huh? Yeah. Making um, English muffins. It's kind of hard to see. I'll try to lighten this up a little bit when I'm editing it so they can. Oops. Because these pans are black, you know? Excuse me. I made a mess. It's all right. Let me make this. Oops. Well, no, I don't want it there because of what I'm going to be doing. I don't want it to stick. It's important not to fill them all the way. This one is a little bit shorter because of what I'm going to do. <laughs> now, look what I have. I have the thin mesh one that happens to fit perfectly. See what I'm doing? What side I'm doing? The inner one on top because I want, if it's going to rise, it'll lift it. I'm not shoving it on, but I'm going to put these in. Look, I want it to rise the same height. So hopefully it'll spread evenly and we'll see. Watch out, Harry. You guys, this is an experiment, but I want it to have the same flatness on top. So let's see if this works, you guys. Wendy's experiment. You never know. 40 minutes? No, I did it. How many minutes? Where's my recipe? Let's do bread. 20 minutes. <laughs> 23, so I'll do 21. 20 to 23 minutes in a preheated 325 degrees. So the reason why I put that mesh on top is I love the sides and the bottom. The bottoms and the sides are just like English muffins. The top still domes like bread. 
So I'm hoping that by putting the mesh on top, when it rises, it flattens out and rises together. Now I'm not saying some of these won't rise a little bit more because I didn't get them exactly right. If you were in a bakery environment, automated system, it would plop the exact right amount in every single bowl, right? But I'm hoping this will give me a flatter top with the same consistency as the side and the bottom. Did you guys get that? So, and I think by adding one teaspoon of allulose, it will give it a little light golden color, is what I'm hoping for. Again, fingers crossed. If you look at English muffins, the top and the bottom are a little bit browner than the sides are more white. So you guys, come back. Wendy's crazy experiment in the kitchen. Hope it works, fingers crossed. You said you, Mom, I want some bread, huh? Do you want Daddy to feed you? Okay, he'll do it. Oh, thank you. She's saying good night. It's not time, but she's telling us. Okay, see you guys in the next segment. So far, we have 13 minutes to go, and it hasn't risen, and it's laying across. You guys, look. It's working so far. It's working. Yeah, I don't see it coming nope. up. I'm very excited about this. Let me close it, honey. I don't want to get it. I don't want them to flatten out totally, but I'm excited because then we'll have shape of real English muffins, you or, guys. Or close to it. Yeah. Or close as I can get. If you can think of something better or different, let me know, but I think this is going to work. I want that mesh. The mesh makes the outside and the bottom a delicious texture. It really does, but you guys, come back when we have English muffins. Yes, indeed. Okay, let me put this up. Because Harry likes it on me. Well, yeah, because it's dark. Yeah. You haven't got it on you. you well, I got to take them out. So, I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, oh. Sorry. Doesn't matter, Mr. Cameraman. These guys got to come out. Ooh, look. Mm -hmm. hey, this looks interesting, it, Yes, it? it kept them on, look. you guys. It kept it on. I am super duper excited about this. I am super excited. Now, I see something interesting because I see some linkage through the bottom. Now, I don't know if I want to take the top off yet or if I want to wait until they cool I off. would let them cool a little bit. I am, so I'm going to do 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes to cool. I sprayed the top, but look at this, you guys. It raised up into it. It didn't come out through it. So hopefully it's flatter on top now. Ooh. Take it off, huh? Look at there, look at there. Woo! I am so excited. I hope yeah. they taste good. You guys, it worked. Let's be patient. Let's let these rest and we'll come back. I'm excited because I have the flat top I wanted, like an English muffin. Come back in 10 minutes and then we're going to do a taste test. We're going to cut it, taste it, check it out. Texture, chewing, consistency, inside bubbles, and last but not least, toasted. Spread with butter and love. Yes, indeed. And yes, indeed. And it's time for coffee. Woo! <laughs> Decaf, of course. Of course. Come back, you guys. Ten minutes. Don't be late. I noticed something by putting a lid on these, so to speak, to keep them from rising and just keep them in the container that they pushed through the bottom more. So that's concerning. Make sure you put, first of all, that this is well sprayed. Second of all, you have a silicon sheet underneath. Now, my concern is that, am I gonna be able to get these out? That's my concern. So let's see. Take your time with them. Look at that, that's an English muffin size. Just take them off carefully, carefully. Now, is this gonna change the texture because I kind of held them from rising and kept them in their little...
perspective uh, wells inside. I don't, I don't think they, know. I don't think they rised all that much because you didn't fill up the container. No, right? I did not. I made a point of only filling them up three quarters of the way full because I want true English muffins. Yes, I do. Well, they seem to be coming up. They good. look like English muffins. I'm telling you they do. Other than having to use a fork because of the seam that they put around the outside, which I have no seam on mine. I'll see that one stuck a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. If it sticks just a dinky winky bit, I'm a happy camper. Just push it through and take it off slowly. Now, I don't know if the allulose is going to change the taste of this at all um, because I only used one teaspoon. Maybe I should have used uh, half of a tablespoon next time. But I don't mind them this color because that, if you turn these over, look, there you go. You've got English muffins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well. You've got English muffins. Oh, Sally heard the word muffin. Yep, I heard a jump. There she is. So at your feet now. You want some bread, don't you, kiddo? Mm hmm. So it's just a little crunchies. Oh, okay, you yeah. guys, look at those. Those are English muffins. I am so excited. Look, English muffins. Woo! I am jazzed. You guys, I'm jazzed. They're the same height as an English muffin. They're colored like an English muffin. We're gonna have to cut one open and see if it tastes like an English muffin. Yes, indeed. So you guys come back in the next segment and we'll try one. You guys, you will always want to put a napkin underneath your rack because of the butter content in these. But look, even this side, here, let me give this to a little Sally girl right here, this little piece, here's Sally. Look how flat they are on the bot on the top too. Look at that. It's amazing. It's the same, it feels the same all the way around you guys. It's awesome. So come here. Let's cut this open. And look, it's it's exactly the size of an English muffin. Look at that. Can you see the holes in that? Yep. You guys, it smells like bread. I'm so excited for this. So here we go. We're going to take one side and we're going to tear it. So come close. Look at this. Spongy, soft. Look at that. Dog is right underneath you waiting for oh, things to drop. Oh, she is waiting for something. Look at the holes in that. Look. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Look at the holes in that, you guys. Harry had to change the battery. We've got more coming, thank heavens. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on this little end here. And I'm gonna give it a taste test. It feels just like an English weapon. So let's have a taste test. Mmm. 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 You like it? Is it good? Mm -hmm. Does it work? Fabulous. The butter, the bacon grease and butter. Okay, Harry, I want you to try this. While you're chewing it, I'm gonna put this little piece that we had left and this one okay. in the toaster. So I'll trade your places though. So you tell me what you think. First of all, what do you think of the texture of the whole thing? Oh, I love it, man. No, I mean the top and the bottom of... Isn't that uh, neat? That is amazing to me. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to take the whole thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
That is really good. Bird chirp. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That's really good. That's great for breakfast. Oh my goodness. Or you know what? You can even use this for hamburgers. Yes, you could. We used to use English muff or here, come back to me. Mm. We used to make tuna melts on English muffins. Mm. We'd toast them. We'd put the tuna salad on, cheddar cheese, stick them under the broiler. We used to make um, mini pizzas. Oh, mini pizzas. Yes. They come home. There would be a jar of marinara sauce. There'd be shredded cheese. And we had a toaster mm. oven. Remember the old toaster oven pre-air fryer? Now you got oh, air yeah. fryers. You just take these, you toast them, put some marinara sauce, put some cheese, a few pepperonis, stick them in your air fryer, and you guys have mini pizzas. I'm telling you, this is delicious. Oh, it really I works. Think it it satisfies that chewiness of the English muffin that you get. Now, you could add a half a teaspoon of allulose if you wanted this top to brown a little bit more. Pizzas, mini pizzas. Or take this recipe and make your pizza dough crust, par bake it, oh, yeah. and then layer it and put it in the freezer so you have ready-made pizza crust for that. Oops, here we go. Sally is, oh Sally honey, just Sally a second. Sally is going crazy she's down going, here. She's going crazy, oh look at that. Nice, woo. How'd they come out the same? Yeah. Toasted, toasted. There's a tablespoon right there of butter. You guys, these are so good. These are absolutely. I probably should allow, like I would like mine toasted more, but this is a test. Well, I don't know how long the batteries are going to last. Oh, uh -huh. They're not lasting long at all anymore. About 10 minutes. Yes. <coughs> okay, me. i got to give Sally a piece because she's just, just having a little fit. Sit down. I know you want your bread. Okay, there's your bread. Oh, mm -hmm. gosh. Oh, there's the my piece. Nuts. Here you go, Harry. I'm going to have a taste. Ho, 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 yeah. I see it. Butter and Move crunch. It around. Okay, listen, listen. Mmm. Yeah. Nice. Mm. Well, I like it, right? English muffin. Yep. Yes, sir. And if no you grain, <clears throat> no gluten, no seeds, pure protein, English muffin. Yes, indeed. Mm. Your turn. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Go ahead and eat the big one, Harry. That one can this be yours. One? Yep. This was mine. Pull the whole plate up. Mmm. That bite, oh, isn't yeah. that English oh, muffin? So oh my goodness. Shh, don't talk with your mouthful. Bird mm -hmm. shirt, bird mm -hmm. shirt. Show it, let me see. Mm. Inside. The, uh, chew, right there is a napkin. The chewiness, you know? Yep, it does, doesn't it? You don't have the chewiness. Okay, come back so we can get done so we can eat our English muffins. <laughs> I'm jealous. To me, not having an English muffin for what, two and a half years, however long it's been, these fit the bill for me. These are absolutely beautiful, They're absolutely delicious. I love the taste, I love the texture. I They hit the mark right on for a keto. Thought I spit, I'm sorry. I don't know. Keto carnivore English muffin all day long. You don't have to use the allulose and then it will be carnivore. Sally. Anyway guys, Sally is saying she would like some more. Here, I'll give her one more piece. For five minutes. Yeah. You're gonna be quiet for five minutes. More. 
Five minutes. Okay, fine. There's a little piece right there. <laughs> okay, let mommy do. Okay. What do you got, Harry? Look what I got. Ha ha ha, man. Okay, take a Ooh, bite. Oh, yeah. Well, let me plate. <gasps> Let me set the plate down. Wait, wait, wait. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Let me see. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Perfect. Mustard, oh, yeah. mayonnaise, ketchup, and English muffin. Mm -hmm. And where's your Zevia? Right here, man. Oh, yeah. Gotta have it, you know. <laughs> Quick, quick, you guys, we're gonna close out tonight. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Yes, indeed, Sally. I know, Mama's got English muffins. Yes, she does, okay, come on over. Down, 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 up it down. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.